Hey, welcome back. I want to share with you one of the toughest moments of my life. It was very traumatic, actually. For charity, I made the mistake of getting involved. And, uh, oh, that's when I saved Rosanna's life. Actually, that was heroic. I actually, <laughs> I came out a champ. Uh, we were swimming in a pool in Times Square. Tell you the story some other time. Uh, then I went up on stage at a place called Comic Strip Live. This was uh, to raise money for charity. Uh, quite frankly, I bombed. Uh, actually, technically, I came in third place, but I think they were being very, very sympathetic, which brings us back to the heart of the matter. This weekend, uh, hundreds of comedy clubs throughout the area will be full of people wanting to laugh. And if you think about it, all those people who are nominated for big prizes like the Oscars in Hollywood, well, um, the most successful actors are started out as comics. Tom Hanks actually started out as a comic. Uh, Adam Sandler, of course, funny guy, started out as a comic. Now he's one of the richest and most powerful guys in Hollywood. We're actually going to have a bit of a comic contest right here on Good Day New York, and for that we brought in two experts uh, who know comedy inside and out. We have with us Jeffrey Gurry the guy with the hair, comedy writer and comic. He also has a book we're going to talk about in a little bit. He hosts a show called Comedy Matters TV. And Dean Edwards, an actor and comedian. He has appeared on Saturday Night Live and MTV's Guy Code. He is appearing this Friday and Saturday at the Gotham Comedy Club. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank Great you to be here. Man. All right. So what makes a good comic? Uh, when, the, when the audience is laughing at you. That's that usually a good sign. <laughs> at yeah, you? Exactly. At you or with you? Either with or, you. as long as they're laughing. I mean... The key, you see how they just laugh? Because they know. This is a wonderful <laughs> audience. They know. But honestly, if I, I remember Eddie Murphy said years ago, he was like, hey, man, the, the, um, you know you're funny if they're laughing. If they ain't laughing, you should do something else. Mm -hmm. And because people, especially in this era of sort of politically correctness, political correctness, uh, people are always afraid, oh, well, I don't want to offend. If you, if you make the audience, if you have hundreds of people laughing, then it was funny. I've seen you both comics, perform live, by the way. Yeah. You're both awesome. Jeff? Oh, thank you. I just say most comics do self-deprecating material because yeah. yeah. the audience does like to laugh at you. It's the only business where you have to make fun of yourself. Right, right. In other business, like if, if in the outside world, if people said stuff that you say about yourself, you'd be horrified. Right, but right. you go you'd on be stage. Offended. When you go on stage, you got to talk about yourself. Jeff, by the way, has a lot to talk about when he talks about himself. <laughs> His old job, he used to be a dentist. Would you, that was a nasty rumor. And you know when that started? What? The day I graduated from dental school. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, he's an amazing guy. All right, so we've got two uh, rising comics, and we're going to check out how good they are. Yeah, yeah. You'll give them some feedback. All right, first By the way, I saw you perform, and you were good. Yeah. I was there that day. Oh, man, oh, By man, the way, oh, man. I, I saw you in the audience at one of my shows, and I was good. You were fantastic. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, make sure y'all come out to Gotham Comedy Club. Two shows Friday, three Saturday, man. It's going to be awesome. It's MLK it's a killer weekend. show. Killer It'll be show. Jeff always comes out and supports. And I brings fine support. women with him, too. Awesome. Free tickets for everybody in the audience. Why everybody not? Everybody in the audience. Why right. not? Maybe one. Maybe one. All right. Let's get this thing started. We've got Mark DeMeo. He's an actor and a comedian, a former NYPD detective. He's been doing stand-up for 17 years. Mark DeMeo, take it away. How's it going, guys? Hey. My name is Mark. Uh, like I mentioned, I was a New York City police officer for 20 years. I retired June of 2012. It's okay if you care. <laughs> <laughs> I used to look like a cop, um, and then when I retired, I grew my hair out, and I grew the beard. Now I look like a cop, but from the 80s. <laughs> like Serpico or something, right? Like I could have been on T.J. Hooker. Stop, police, don't move. <laughs> okay. Two type of people become cops. The first type of person that becomes a cop is somebody that always wanted to be a cop. The second type of person that becomes a cop is um, somebody that messed up really bad on the SATs. <laughs> yeah, I got a 700 on my SAT. And I thought it was a great score. I never got 100 on a test in my whole life. <laughs> I've been gone a year and a half now, and um, I miss the camaraderie. I miss the action. But I tell you, the one thing I miss the most, you don't think about this kind of stuff? Office supplies. <laughs> Sounds weird, doesn't it? Like, yeah, everybody's got that closet, and you just, you're not stealing, you're just taking stuff for the house. <laughs> now you're not working anymore, you don't have that closet. Oh, I had. Man, give it up for Mark. Get over here. Come on over here. Get over here. Thank you, Mark. Mark DeMeo. Have a seat. You seriously were a cop, or is that just. Uh... No, I was. I was. I was, I was a big fan of okay. your dad. 
No, thank you very much, sir. Uh, how did he do? Jeff, take it away. Well, I thought he did great. Uh, Mark has the, the interesting ability. First of all, he has an identity. Every comic needs a, co a comic identity. If you're yeah. lucky, you have a hook. Being a cop is perfect because people love that, you know, you. That, you yeah. can, that you can tie your jokes into being a cop. And the fact that you talk about your appearance, and I've seen you perform, I think you're great. I gave your, him a PBA Your writing card. is very clever. I gave you one too, Dean. Yeah, Dean. <laughs> Dean, give us some feedback. Hey, Mark, look, man, the, the comics that are on this show um, are friends, and I've known Mark for years. Funny dude, keep keep doing your thing. He has a point of view. That's that's very important that uh, people people he came off stage and the people at home know exactly. Okay, he's a he's a police officer. He just recently re retired and he has great hair. All right, I happen to know. <laughs> and comedy is the hardest, by the way. You give props to everybody who gets up to perform. It's the hardest thing in the world, yeah. as you can attest to. As funny as stuff has bad words. It's funny <laughs> stuff has some bad words. Thank you. Don't go away. All right, we have another performer. We've got Mr. Marvin Bell. He's an actor, comedian. He's been doing stand-up for 30 years, originally from St. Louis. Ladies and gentlemen, Marvin Bell. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, stop. I don't have that much time. Thank you. I'm nice. I'm glad to be here. Almost didn't make it. I had, I had an accident on the way in here today. I had to go all the way home and change my pants. And, uh... <laughs> Like Greg said, I've been a budding comic for like 30 years. And I've gotten to that age where I realize I can't flirt with the young girls anymore. Because they tend to look at me like uh, I've got grandparents older than, younger than you. And I, I, I don't flirt with them. I just throw out compliments and hope they got daddy issues. Uh, <laughs> No, because the girls today, they're, they're smart, they're savvy, they're slick, and they listen to their, their, their mothers and their sisters and their aunts, and they know how to shut a man down. And I'm older now, so what they do to me, and they, 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 they call me sir. That will mess with your head. It will. And they're not subtle about it. it. It's like, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? Nice to meet you, sir. Did I introduce myself by writing my name on a blackboard? What's with the sir stuff? Can I buy you a drink? Oh, no, sir, I'm fine with the drink. They get real condescending, like they're scared they're going to dip in to my social security money and stuff. <laughs> and it's not just the women. I get on the subway, this guy, as soon as I step in the car, he's like 30 years old, jumps out of his seat. Here's a seat right here, sir. If you want to sit down, sir, you can have my seat, sir. I'm like, sit your butt back down, you little smart aleck. I don't need your seat. I'm not so old, I can't stand up. So sit your butt back down before I smack you in the head with my cane. What's wrong with you? He's like, yeah. No, well, okay, I can't stay because I got, you know, I got, I got a contract with the studio. I got, a, I got bathrooms to go clean. So uh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Marvin Bell, come on over here. Come join the couch. Please, Come to the couch. Please. Listen, I know it's not Jay Leno's couch, but it's a couch. Hey, okay. hey. Have a seat. Well I, done. I don't, I don't have one at home, so this is <laughs> it nice. It doesn't. We got to get him a couch. It's Stay so with nice. us, okay? We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Well, thank you. Okay. You're probably thinking. Uh, probably. You're probably thinking that's no, too I much. Think, to I'm not thinking you, anything. No. You I think it's great. You ticked off. No, not at all. Are you it's, just heated at us like for this, giving like you this much tuna? Not at all. We've too had much. a lot of guests on Too Much Tuna. And this is just Too Much Tuna. This is fabulous. That's Too Much Tuna, and we just pranked you, but good. I mean, there's a camera right there. Look, oh, you, leave here. You're on a, a prank show. There's, there's a, a camera behind you. I'm not looking. I'm not uh, one of the most bizarre uh, moments you've seen on television in a long time, but uh, fantastic. That was the Nick Kroll Show featuring Jeffrey Gurian. Tell us about that. That was so fun. It was Nick Kroll and John Mulaney. They played the Oh Hello Boys, and they brought me out there. That was my second guest spot on the show. And they, pr they tried to prank me with a big tuna sandwich, but that's how I like my tuna sandwich, so it was no <laughs> prank. So I refused. Ah! You can't be pranked if you refuse to be pranked. You got to <laughs> see this, the Kroll Show. It's on Comedy uh, just, Central. They just started season, their, two. Their season, season two, two the other night. Yeah. Dean, what would you, Mar you think of Marvin? Marvin did his thing, same thing, point of view, and he let everyone know. He, he addressed the elephant in the room is that he's, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say older, he's wiser. You know, he has, he has a bald head <laughs> and, the, and the salt and pepper goatee, and, and he likes kicking it with young ladies, and who doesn't like kicking it with young right. ladies? But he tailored his material for him. That's what was right. important. He looks like the wise Nobody owl, else could right? do those jokes. They were specifically for him, and that's important in comedy. And I want to say thank you to you both, but Dean, uh, I'm old. I accept it. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. It's 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 circle of life. I was looking at a girl over there. And I'm thinking if I 
if I was 20 years younger, <laughs> I'd still be too old for it. All right, let's all settle down. <laughs> Marvin Bell, thank you very much. Thank you. Where are you working you. these days? Uh, uh, Dangerfields and uh, High Comedy Club. And we want to thank Dangerfields for finding you guys, for thank us, helping you. us find thank you. Also, yes, we got uh, Mark DeMeo. We can find you at Dangerfields as well. Sunday. I'll be there Sunday. Oh, and I also have a one-man show uh, at the pit in March. It's called 20 and Out. It's uh, my memoirs. But all the stuff I did, well, it was not about what I did as a cop, what I watched other people do. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet it's better than that Bo Deedle book. Boy, oh boy. I love Bo Deedle. He's the best. All right, Jeffrey Gurian, where can people find you? You can see me every week on Sirius XM Radio with Ron and Fez. I have my own thing now, Comedy Matters Radio. I'm bringing on guests. Started with Colin Quinn. I'll be on next and, week. And you'll be on. I'll be on next I'm week. bringing Dean on with me. And Dean, you, we can see Dean live this weekend at yeah, Gotham. Yeah, this weekend, Gotham Comedy Club. It's going to be hot. Uh, check out my podcast, The Father Market Protocol. Gotham Comedy Club is going down this weekend, baby. Come out. You'll see Denzel Washington. You're going to see Tracy Morgan. You're going to see a lot of people this weekend. Sweet. Thank you, pal. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you All so right, much. when we come back, we're giving cash and prizes to this group. How much and how many prizes? We'll see. <laughs>